Our first guest is an actor. May I say he was part of the combo band world touring The Honks. <laughs> um, former shout out ABS CBN. No, but yeah, he, he has oh, a background man. in show business in the in the country. He's been doing it for years. One of the vets, you can say. That's the wildest intro I've ever right? experienced, dude. <laughs> so without further ado, everybody. This is Mr. Bernard Palanca. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us tonight. First of all, hello, everybody. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And uh, boys, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank pilot you. episode, <laughs> may we say as well. It's our pilot. So yeah, Josie, how do you want to start this off? Like, what were you thinking? <laughs> just, just quiet. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, music. So we basically yeah, we're start, start off with music. music. Um, we'll start off with like uh, influence. Because I know you are... You still are doing acting. You're still in show business. But then you, when we last spoke, you said you were actually doing music since you were a kid. So like, how that how that start for you? Like, how did you did? Were you one of those? I want to be in a band because it's cool. Or did you really just have a thing for for music? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I sorry, you. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. This is well, for actually, you. I, um, <laughs> well, I can't, can't remember. remember. No, I'm, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, how do I say? It? First of all. I don't know. Music was was and still is my first love. It mm. really will. I think I'm taking that to the grave. You know, how, however nice. long that's going to take. Acting, I kind of just fell into it. I, I needed to work. I had nothing to do. You know, started modeling. <laughs> and then that eventually led me to acting. And then uh, now, I don't know. I've fallen in love with it. Acting, for me, music, both music and acting or whatever form of art you have there. I think everyone has a different way of expressing themselves. And this was my way of doing that. So it, 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 on being on stage, when I used to sing for a band, um, it was different. I was, I'd, warp, I'd zone out into a different world, pretend I was just by myself in the bathroom. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he knows this. You were doing the shower. <laughs> and then I'd just sing my heart out because nobody can hear me. And I never really sang. I, was, I wanted to play guitar. But then uh, when we started jamming, first time, no one was singing the songs. We were just <laughs> playing. I said, who's going to sing? So one drunken evening... I decided, why not? So there. But I didn't even know I could. I, I don't, still don't think I'm a singer. But I just do it because it's fun. Right. Like I said, it's, it's how I expressed myself. So it's, it helps a lot. So would you, would, would you say singing was more of like the spark for you over guitar? Or you always wanted to really No, I, I've always wanted to just be in the back playing guitar. Because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. when I watch bands, it's one of the things that I really watch. I mean, I watch the guitar players. Yeah. And I, I, I listen to, I really listen to their riffs and all that stuff. And uh, I wanted to do that. So, but before when, when I picked up a guitar, I was in high school, I think. Yeah. And I never went to any class. I didn't want no to. No formal thought. teaching. No, nah, it was, it was, me, boy, it was acoustic guitar. Like yeah. acoustic. Dabs, acoustic, yeah. Dabs, yeah. Because um, I can't even read notes. I don't know how. Oh, same here. If you put a I tab in front of me, <laughs> I can't, I, I won't know what I'm looking at. Oh, so even tabs. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Oh, no, I, you I, know I, tabs, I think. Yeah. One or two things. But you, you tr you're using ears, ears yeah. I, I really just, now, I, what I do now is I try and... Look, I play the lyrics. I think I think it's called finger style. I think I don't know. Right, yeah, something like that. And yeah, that uh, yeah I, I play a song in the background, and then I just play along with it, and then I just mess around with that. But you know, it's it's just it just fills me up for some reason. It 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 completes whatever it is that's missing on that in that moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it it helps me a lot psychologically so, and you know emotionally and all so that. So I'm stuff. pretty curious that um, you say that you got a guitar, but you never had you never had any lessons and you don't read notes so what yeah. was that first few months like you hold oh, the guitar and just I wanted to smash it like did you even know how to tune it or no no not even I didn't know that's why I, I would always wonder why does this sound so bad <laughs> you know but then <laughs> then I started getting more serious into the whole band thing because we to begin with that was really just for fun we, we weren't planning anything and then uh, eventually somebody said why not make it you know a thing so when that started then my guitar player was teaching me chords like basic chords and stuff whatever so that's how I learned, really. So that's for, for my, Yeah, but I still don't know all of it. I mean, you can, you know, I know what a G is, but I don't know what a G diminished flat is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the theory so in it. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't be technical. If, you, if I try and be technical, I can't do it. So I just somehow learned, I don't know, somehow, with the help of, of course, a little, <laughs> a little you know, the devil's, veg, <laughs> the devil's veggies. The devil's veggies. Yeah, it, it, it you know, it, it helped. And I guess being a lover of music, it was easy for me to want to learn it. You know, because yeah. you know how some, I'll try it. It doesn't work. Ah, forget it. Mm -hmm. 
me, I was always like, no, I won't stop until I you get, get this. It. So it just, it was, it, I guess that, that's how I see that. Yeah, part. that's how a real musician is. Yeah, like, pretty much. It's Actually, a lot the, of the ones I've met that you, like, you ask them, like, um, our bandmate, eight, you know, when, before I met him as, as he, as we know him now, I used to think, oh, this guy could probably shred, like, um, you know, what do you call those? Uh, wow, I'm banging out. What do you call those things <laughs> that session is, like the piece, um, the notes, music. The, yeah, the sheet music. The sheet, the sheet. Yeah, <laughs> like how some can read that on the spot. Yeah. You know, like I have friends who you put you put the sheets in front of them of songs, and it's like, but that dude. Like, I, I don't. don't know. I don't know anybody that um, can read any. I don't know any guitarists that can read sheet music. Yeah, my, see, my my guitar player was like that. He was an eighteen year old prodigy. Wow, I mean, this guy for some reason his name's Derek Padilla. In case. <laughs> <laughs> He, Shout um, out the D-Dog. He, with him, this is how we learned songs was, uh, he would listen, we'd give him the, a tape of it. This was, we were still using tapes back then. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there was no Spotify uh, or anything nothing like back that. then. So we, he, plays, he plays the song a couple of times and then he, a few minutes, he, he gets it. What a nerd. And I'm, I'm, just I'm, 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 not, just talking, I'm not talking like uh, G's and B's and whatever. Yeah. yeah I was like, Dude, I'm talking Steve Vai. We were, oh, his influences wow. were Steve Vai, Eric Johnson. At 18. And all, at 18. And he, and he would, Dude, he'd play it, you know, as it was played. And we, we just watch him some. That's how we learned. We're like, dude, okay, we need to learn this song here. So we give him alone time for a few minutes. He'll learn it. When he's well, ready, he calls us back. Does he play any other instruments like piano, maybe? Piano, I'm not. I don't. He, he knows a little bit. Because yeah. I noticed uh, with guitar, we're kind of the dumbest musicians because we, we, our notes aren't like, you know, like notes. It's, not, yeah. it's numbers and the string. So yeah. it, that, that doesn't really help with linking the music together in a way i get what you're saying yeah yeah I noticed it's that like too, 11 12 0 that's, that's not really musical notes yeah you won't really get the, the connection of yeah. the notes so yeah but i don't know piano is that's my frustration i wish i learned I, I not know, same as a kid because yeah. yeah. they say when you know piano you basically know you it's easy to yeah because you got like five-year-old kids that know yeah. notes yeah exactly because of piano but the five-year-old guitar player just like i know like the a e b you know yeah just that's that, <laughs> i mean set around a e d but like when you were like when you started though in terms of like in terms of genre because like you know when I think everyone I mean safe to say your taste will eventually grow out but like what was the no nah, that's not I don't believe that because <laughs> back then I mean I was always classic rock and up, so that's, that was, that's up what, to today oh that's what I was gonna ask like yeah. up to date up to I still today. listen to Led Zepp I still listen yeah. to uh, Deep Purple all the old stuff yeah Ted Nugent and all that so those are the songs like see I wish I learned how to play back then and back then but. Uh, if I were to form another band today, I think if we were to do covers, it would be of that genre, that era, and the '90s as well. The, of course, alternative Pearl Jam and yeah. Soundgarden and all that stuff. So, what so, do you think about the modern? Uh, are you familiar? Yeah, with not like- for anything. I a lot of them ain't. Look, I like all kinds of music. Maybe not hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I like all kinds. <clears throat> very. Hip-hop. I like hip hop. You know, very. There's a there's select, a select few. Select, select few. few that I like, but um, I have nothing against any of it. Right. You know, so for me, it's like whatever music you do, invent yourself or it's yours. I have high respect for that. So I mean, I like it, but it doesn't mean you suck. Is there anything like that you hear that's new that's coming out these days that like sparks your interest, or it's all just yeah? Like, what are the heavier? What are the what are the, what are the like Dude, the top three could, bands? Now? Um, no, honestly, yeah, your question. Yeah, just 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 a few weeks ago, I told my girlfriend. I said, hey. When it's Miley on the fucking TV, don't mind me. <laughs> her new stuff, I don't know. For some reason, I just... Oh, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Shout out Miley. Yeah. No, her new album's good. Her new album. I like it. Miley. And see, but see, this was just last week. Before that, every time she would come out on like YouTube or whatever, if my, if my girlfriend's listening to her, I'd always tell her, you know, can we change it? <laughs> it's not my kind of music. But then, her I have nothing stuff. against it. And I don't know. I, I, I can appreciate whatever's out there it's just that I don't you can't ask me now who because a lot of them I don't know the names of these groups or, yeah. or, or these artists so I some more or less have to ask if I hear it I have to ask somebody that's in the room hey who, who sang this or Shazam it is there anything yes. that you remember that's like oh that's nice I like that um, yeah well there I'll, I'll go with that I like my new flowers man that's a yeah. that was a good song interesting of course, I I don't know. It's like first the first thing I said when I first heard it was I wonder if she spoke to Bruno about this. Because <laughs> it's you know it's somehow the same song. Well, my my girlfriend loves that song, and she she I was like hey because I saw it on a TikTok that it answers Bruno's yeah. song. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, and my girlfriend was yeah I told you all about that. You never listen to anything yeah. I tell you. So apparently <laughs> she she did have. message Bruno <laughs> because that was like their song yeah. together, like yeah. their wedding song. Yeah, it was it was so cool. It was like a in your face to her. No, I think the truth there is I guess because. 
it's what the song's about. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's what happened to her, I guess, if that's how you call it. Ah, uh, so you, you like it for like the the rawness? Yeah. Or, I like, or the catchiness? I like, no, the catchy, well, yeah, it is catchy. Okay. I have to admit that. But no, I like the the honesty of it. I real recognize real. Yeah, like she wasn't afraid to just tell the world <laughs> what happened. Yeah, <laughs> she's very this day and age. So that's why me, I, I started respecting her, and I said, now she's hot. <laughs> no, she's not, she's not the Disney Hannah Montana no, anymore. No, no more. But like it in terms of like gigging, or I mean playing rather. Uh, do you remember? It's such a cliche question. I hate asking even friends this, but like, do you remember your first time on stage? In yeah, front of, of course. Crowd? I can't forget that. Anyway, you were guitar- playing guitar, right? You're singing. Guitar- I was okay. This is my first time to go up on stage to actually be the front man. And then I played a little bit also. Mm, nice. So, yeah. Alanis was- Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been listening to Alanis Morissette the whole day. But uh, anything from the 90s and everything basically from the 90s, except the pop stuff and the hip hop again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we pretty much played that. We were, that was, that's what I was listening to. Did and you f- uh, throw up? Sorry, did you throw up? Yeah, <laughs> before and in between. It runs in the family. It runs. Twice. <laughs> I still do. I mean, no matter what. <laughs> Told you, man. Even it if it runs isn't, in the family. Even if it isn't uh, with my old band, like, that's what I love. I miss doing that. I miss being on stage with them and then just, you know, going out. But before any performance that I do now, whether it be acting or singing or whatever, I still puke before like, the show. Like actual puke or just gag? No, dude. I, yeah. <laughs> whatever I ate that morning or day. Wow. It's all yeah. out. Okay. It's all out. Before I remember, yeah, that Armalite gig, dude. Like, I really looked at our old drummer, Mike, and I was like, shout out, Mike, if you're watching. But it works, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it helps. It, it, helps. It, 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 it gets rid of the whole uh, the whole nervousness. Yeah. It, the for, me, for me, I don't away. puke. I, I really don't throw up well. Like, I only yeah. th- thrown up a handful of times my whole life. Yeah. My thing is... Um, it's like you run out of air. I really have choking to pee. You. Oh, and my, my pee is like a little. It gets like, it's like oh, hold on. So I wish, I wish I was like you guys and just throw up. <laughs> it's as it it gross as that sounds. It's 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 real. It, it actually happens, and it, it's it's it works. Yeah, but basically, basing off this is this is basing off your the, the genre and like the style of music you listen to. Given your line of work as an actor, and you had you know whatever projects in your career as an actor, I know you did tours with your group at the time <laughs> with what you were singing what? with the hunks let's just God. say it <laughs> little yeah. hunks. oh that's a you, whole nother podcast but like how, how is how how is um that experience for you given your influences were like heavy like you mentioned and well, having to sing the top 40s like the okay. backstreet boys the, 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 the five the five or six five or six years we were together doing that mm-hmm. up to today i still ask the question what am i doing here <laughs> not really because you know not for anything but we said we sang stuff that I didn't like. We sang stuff that I didn't know. You know, a lot of times they, were, they, they, they say, yeah, you have to learn this song, blah, blah, blah. But I never heard it. You know, and so I have to learn this a day before the actual performance. So I'm thinking, wow. what the And that's hard this? when you don't even like it. It's hard when you don't know and it gets worse when you don't like it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's, it's it, I went through a lot of that. There's another one. Um, it's when you don't even want to do it. <laughs> that's, that's always, that's always that's there. I always wondered. I was like, me personally, like let's say I had to do what he did. It's like, how? No, look, I'll put it to you this way. <laughs> did, did he give you shit for all those? No, I was too oh. young. I was too young. I was too he, young. He tried. I he tried. wanted to. <laughs> he would get the bag. It was my cousins, yeah, really, and my friends. After the first day I told them about, oh my God, man. And I heard it all. Because okay. and everybody, it's on YouTube for you guys to see. Just search Bernard. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> no. like, right here. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> oh. You're dead it's, later, it's, Mark. It's, it's, all, it's all there. You know, Backstreet Boys and Sync. Do not do that. No, Matchbox 20. <laughs> it was a big Rob Thomas guy. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Backstreet Boys are in Sync, though. In Sync. Same. 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 I always Same. get hate whenever I say They that. made us sing a lot of their songs. A lot of their stuff yeah. was, was part of <laughs> I our think he has a bye 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 cover on YouTube. Man. And on top of that, you, say, you don't like the song you're singing now. Pucha, they'll make you dance, pa. So like, what? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta go no back. One, did, no you say, did you say bye, bye, bye cover on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I'm... He has the... He has the just imagine lapel. like going home, <laughs> sorry, just, you're just doing... You, know, you don't know what to do at home. You're just, I'm gonna watch a bye, bye, bye cover. <laughs> <laughs> but how was that for you though? Like, I'm sure... I had to swallow my pride. I no, no, no. <laughs> but like when you had to, given... I'm sure they tell you ahead, right? Or, or whatever. How would you practice for that? We had rehearsals. We had time. We had... Uh, Five, you know, six, we had six, we had rehearsal time before the actual oh, show. Oh, okay. There's actual like, yeah. It was serious work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You for know, sure. and the only reason why I took it really and was because look, I was new. I was new in the industry. I was just a couple of years in, and then it was the first time I got invited to join. <laughs> they, they asked me, "Hey, uh, ASAP, if we, I don't know if you guys remember yeah, ASAP, ASAP yeah. the Sunday show, yeah, yeah okay." 
we were hosting that. So we were part of that every Sunday and they wanted to put a group together of guys. So that's, I think that's how it started. And then they asked me eventually, hey, do you want to be a part of this? Blah, blah, blah. So come to the audition. And I'm, why are you asking me if I still have to audition? <laughs> you know, because it was almost like they said, well, it's a formality. Mm. Just show up tomorrow and then, you know, we'll see how it works. Because they also want, I guess they wanted to see how we looked. Right. They together. don't want to like ask you and tell you you're in and then yeah. be like, fuck, this guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Long story short, I come in the next day. Killed it. No, nah, man. This is the thing. When I got in there, <laughs> there were so many dudes. Okay. And all of them, you got to understand, all of them looked. Like they came out of Baywatch or something. <laughs> all buffed, you know, all wearing tight shirts and what it's not. Your your co your Me, co groupmate Carlos Agassi. Yeah, let's not talk about that. That's another whole story. What do you call this? You idiot. <laughs> No, so, I just so they, they were all, they were all, yeah, they're, all they're all fit, they're all buff, big guys. How about you at the time? And me, I come in, you know, with a Tattoos. old t-shirt tattooed out. <laughs> I'd go you for know, that anyway. jeans, You know, I was baked out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I just smoked a full joint by myself going there. The devil I, salad again. Yeah, the devil salad. <laughs> the I, ate devil quite, I had quite a bit. <laughs> so I walk in there and I look at everyone saying, what, what am I doing here? What? This is a mistake. Am I in the wrong room? What's going on? <laughs> I thought so, it was special. They, they invited me <laughs> and all these. Yeah. There are a lot. So I'm thinking, oh man, is, do I have to audition and whatnot? If I had to audition that day, if they told me, yeah, you do, I wouldn't have done it. I would have mm. left and just, you know, forget yeah. this. But apparently I didn't. And they said, my manager at the time told me, look, we just need you here for formality for now. Yeah. Because we're, they were going to announce it that same day who, who they chose. <laughs> so I said, okay. But as the day went on and I'm trying to compare myself to these boys, I said, what the hell am I? I really couldn't get why I was there. First of all, they're all buffed. They're all like big ass dudes. And I'm there, little scrawny me, you know, just like in the corner smoking a cigarette. <laughs> so you'd say you're, you're the, underdog, the underdog. Something like that. I said, I don't belong here. It's one right. of those things. Yeah, out of, who do you think's not in place there? You know, or out of place. And man, that's how I felt. So I was like, shit, this is wrong. This is wrong. Day ends. And then a couple of weeks later, I get the call saying, okay, it's formal. Which was good for me because I, it was work. You know, no matter what I was feeling or, or thinking at the time, I did it because it was my job. It was work that, you know, in this industry, when you're offered something like that, whether or not you like it, I suggest take it because you never know where it may take you eventually. Oh yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> if I did not do that, if I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't show up that day, I wouldn't be, I think, where I am today, in the industry at least. Yeah. Because that it apparently ended up. Helping me in such a lot, in such a big way, you know, as it went on. Wow. So interesting. Thank, I'm think, I'm as as far, as much as I'm embarrassed to talk about it, or <laughs> even just when it's mentioned, I cringe. It's experience. <laughs> it, it still, you know, made me what I am. So it's like I'm still very thankful. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm thankful to everybody that that put me there. But still, I still ask myself, yeah. what am I doing? Here? <laughs> yeah. Because, but I mean, from a rock band where we used to mock boy bands and whatnot. We used to like really mock Yeah, them. there was a thing before. But a lot right? of those boy bands are also into, you know, they're not really into what they're doing. Yeah, know? yeah, no, that, that makes sure sense. Because like now all there. of them that went on their own way, like the, the music. Like Post mature. Malone, he's yeah. rapping, but he's, you know. It's a diary. No, but yeah. tell, let me tell you this. What I experienced with this group, with this boy group, was far, very, very far. And you can't even compare it to what I experienced with the rock band, which is meaning the boy band was one hell of an experience I'm sure compared to just being in a band right yeah it, it, it may I mean we were doing it for five years so for me the last five years and that I mean come on we were touring yeah. like we were doing shows in the states like how many states in a month wow no, yeah, three months dude. a year we would leave for the states he would be out of the house a lot and, 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 you know it was, it was just uh, just wow man and VIP treatment from Manila to coming back all the way to coming back to Manila. It was so did it happen treatment. fast like from that interview you're in and then just boom, oh, you're man. out. It was insane. It was, one, it was one hell of a ride. I mean, I, I lost myself during <laughs> that time. No joke. But no regrets. It was fun. It was an experience I will never get back. I know. You know, but either way, uh, what, a, what a ride. And it's, I'm, I'm hoping to find it again because, you know, there's still time to, to have fun. Yeah. And I'm, I'm dying to reach that. I don't know. I'm dying to ride that second ride, whatever it may be. The second wave coming. Yeah. But like, so after that, moving on from that, like going back to guitar, like when you finally had time to like, you know, after you after you got busy with everything, just to nerd out a bit and talk about gear just yeah. a little bit. Like, what was the first guitar you remember that like? My first, and I still have it now, is my Greg Bennett uh, a classical Guitar. So you started acoustic. You yeah, started acoustic. I still play acoustic. It was just only recently that I started playing electric, electric. because of what I was doing. Before yeah. it was really just rhythm and singing. 
like basic chords and, and strumming and singing song, yeah. whatever. But again, when I got back to music and I started playing the guitar again, I, I stopped singing them now. So now I don't even sing. I don't sing anymore. I just try and let the guitar I'm playing sing. Like that's what I do. I, I try and make up the, the, song. the lyrics yeah. of the song itself so I don't have to sing it. <laughs> mm, gotcha. But So that's what I do now. But other than that. Yeah, because that's the part that people recognize. Not the, not the background music. Yeah, the chords, it's the, that's true. The melody of the vocals. That's right. So why not put them together right. and make them hear both as you do it, right? So it, it was, um, I don't have a lot of new influences today because I don't know much of them. Yeah. In fact, the ones I know are from him. <laughs> the newer <laughs> like stuff. Like I hear him playing something in the house sometimes and I'll be like, what is that? It sounds good. Yeah. And he'll tell me and then there that I, when I get home, I download them. I see him two listen. weeks later, he knows the whole album. So He's it's just a, like, it's oh, I, yeah. Not, like, it's exaggerated. Not no, no, not, the not, to the, not to the T, <laughs> but like the songs that, you know, he's listened to the album. So it's like, so we we did that for a, for a moment. Like I, there was a point like a, two years ago, three, maybe when I was working near his, his What was place. that? Yeah, I can't remember. What I would just go ago? there with Jam, dude. Like two amps and like just jam no, nothing like this even nothing like oh our remember what I told you earlier about my guitar player back then who just listens to it he gets it yeah he's like a, I started a trying that Sam. yeah but him him he was he would learn of course the real way of playing the song not the lyrics so I kind of tried it from that I tried getting inspired that approach that. yeah I tried that one and apparently it worked for some reason if I know the song that I'm listening to it's easier for me to to find it and, and be able to do, learn it other than a song that I don't know, or I'm, I just, I'm just hearing for the first time. Because yeah. if I know the song, I kind of know already what note comes What's next. Coming, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's easier for me to find that rather than just to find, shit, where are you? you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's like that. But there are days where I just can't play. Yeah, that, you get that, that, those, those days. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you just can't play anything, it just won't work. Everything right? just seems so stiff and like, there's just no... Yeah, yeah, is that like that. in your fingers or is that like mind fog? I think, I think everything, everything. Because if I'm, my mind ain't there... Then my fingers are not, not going to do what I wanted really? to. Yeah. So do you it, think it's like like let's say you're stressed out and you, do you think you play better or those are the days we just can't play? Same. There are days that I, I play better when I'm stressed because yeah, I, I it too. helps. But there are days that if I'm really stressed about something, it depends. I guess what what it is. Like how how yeah. heavy your mind is on yeah. whatever. But more often than not, I it's what I run to when I'm stressed. Yeah. It's what I do. I, I I go pick the guitar up and I play, and I tell myself, okay, you learned this song today, that I'll just stick to that one song until I get it. See, so at least anything outside of that, it's blocked off already by wanting to learn this particular song. But it doesn't work all the time. Yeah, it doesn't. So do you have then, a go-to? Do you have a go-to um, cover jam song? That oh you man, do? like off the top uh, of your head, is there like a riff? I think given I would, your guitar. Player? Yeah, that would be that would be. I can't tell you why from the Eagles. You know that song. No, my age is showing them. That's why I'm asking. Because I, don't know, I don't assume you guys my know. My dad loves the Eagles, so I should know this. <laughs> it's a slow one. It's the it's it's one of their biggest hits. It's a slow one. I really one. thought you were going to say Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. As much as I love DLR, my God, that song was overplayed. They even made it a disco oh. version. It's embarrassing. That's, that's funny. No, but yeah, I can't tell you why it's the one. Because that one, there's a story behind that one. When I... As high school, we wanted. To, I wanted to sing that song before in high school for, of course, you know, the chicks. And yeah, I was, <laughs> high school. We were but I couldn't fans. do both because the leads of that, the album on, on that thing, is 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 really nice. It's really sexy and whatever. That's why I like the song. And every time before, I'd only play the intro, and then until we get to the album, I have to stop because I don't know what to do next. And that was frustrating, and I couldn't learn it for some reason. Years later, like now, there's one time I picked up a guitar again. I heard it. This was a time I think my my youngest son was was made and <laughs> he was you know my gr girlfriend at the time got pregnant and there so the whole nine months of her pregnancy i played it every night to him wow because i wanted to learn it so i was trying to learn it and he was there you know whatever before she gave birth i finally completed the song i knew how to play the whole song already so i was like, so i think that one stuck to me and it still does because of i guess i don't know the memories that come along with it like yeah. what i went through it brings you back to because it was the yeah it was the one thing that helped me go get through it Right. Like if something was going really wrong that day, it's your security blanket. Pick up the guitar, I play the song in my headset, and I'm just trying to learn it. It's blocking everything. It's like off. a, it's like a timer, like a travel machine. Something yeah, like that. Brings so, you. Yeah, and that's why I bring my guitar to work every day, or like all the time. If I have work, it's my guitar is with me, because it really helps me. Uh, it puts me back in my place if things are going nuts. If I'm kind of straying away. Yeah, it grounds just, you. I, yeah, it grounds me. It uh, reminds me of who I am again, and then it gets rid of the negative stuff. So. You know, it playing really helps for me. I don't know why. It's, uh, yeah. Some people run, some people 
fight. Yeah, I can't run. Son. I can't run. I can't run to save my life. Hey, what's up? My name is Josie. His name is Frankie. And my name is Marts. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you see, please do follow us on our socials for more updates.